Chapter on whoever gets himself branded, cauterized, or branded, cauterized someone else, and the superiority of one who does not get branded, cauterized. Narrated Jabir, may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, If there is any healing in your medicines, then it is a cupping operation or branding, cauterization. But I do not like to be cauterized, branded. Narrated Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, Nations were displayed before me. One or two prophets would pass by along with a few followers. A prophet would pass by accompanied by nobody. Then a big crowd of people passed in front of me and I asked, Who are they? Are they my followers? It was said, No, it is Moses and his followers. It was said to me, Look at the horizon. Behold, there was a multitude of people filling the horizon. Then it was said to me, Look this way and that way in the vastness of the horizon. Behold, there was a multitude filling the horizon. It was said to me, This is your nation out of whom seventy thousand shall enter paradise without reckoning. Then the Prophet, peace be upon him, entered his house without telling his companions who they, the seventy thousand, were. So the people started talking about the issue and said, It is we who have believed in Allah and followed his messenger. Therefore, those people are either ourselves or our children who are born in the Islamic era, for we were born in the pre-Islamic period of ignorance. When the Prophet, peace be upon him, heard of that, he came out and said, Those people are those who do not treat themselves with rukya, nor do they believe in bad or good omen from birds, etc., nor do they get themselves branded, cauterized, but they put their trust only in their Lord. On that, Ukasha bin Mehsan said, Am I one of them, O Allah's Messenger? The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Yes. Then another person got up and said, Am I one of them? The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Ukasha has preceded you. <laughs>